two pretty evenly matched teams here on a cold spring dreary day here at Georgetown. And after one quarter of play, each team has capitalized on an extra man opportunity. And we score at 2-2. We're just about to start the second quarter. It's going to be pretty pretty close game all the way through Harvard. Uh, in his second year under new coach John Tillman, he's recruited some superstars, and they're going to be all that Georgetown can handle. In fact, currently they're rated higher than Georgetown in the national poll. But anyway, we're about to we're in the second you've quarter. Got, you've got a prediction for the final score? What do you see happening? Uh, at the end of the first quarter. Uh, <laughs> I'm listening. He's, he's been real successful. This guy, you know, if you play some bets, you want to listen to what he says. I, I haven't seen that. Although, the you know, we don't encourage gambling. But. I've seen Jeff Cohen, but I haven't seen the Crimson. That's the first time. I hate to go, but I, I see something like 98 to Georgetown today. Huh. We'll see. Overtime? No, regular. Okay. Just normal 60 minutes. All right. Great. Thinking, John. Uh, watch this play off, off this timeout. Here it is. 19 seconds in overtime. And uh, you may recall Mr. Galby uh, last year in overtime, Princeton, or two years ago, I guess it was, in the first round of the NCAA. Yeah, is when when uh, Brendan Cannon came around the cage and scored in overtime. Oh, in yeah. We crossed in. Watching that on YouTube ever since. It'll be a similar kind of play. <laughs> you think so? You watch somebody oh, like. That was a right. That was a right. Well, the right shooter's not had a good day today. The Harvard defenseman has owned him. Huh? Somebody like him to speed around the around the cage from behind a little. Who are you looking for? Uh, so take a shot on Schuler, but it could come from out high though. Brincaccio or uh, Kosas, eight or sixteen, and then watch twenty-two. Commentary, John. On the commentary, that's Scott Kosas breaking away, looking, looking for the. Got to be looking for the ball on the stick. Cause it fell out. He's got it again. Six, 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 six. 